Hi, I'm Sky, and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a white chicken chili. I've got most of the ingredients laid out in front of me. We've got onion, bell pepper, jalapeno, of course, chicken. I've got white meat and thighs. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the thighs. This is generally made with white meat. Wasn't sure if I had enough, so just in case. And various seasonings. First, we're going to get started off with browning that chicken. Right, I got some olive oil in the pot there. Big ass chicken breast. We're going to throw that in there like that. I think that's going to be good. We're not going to need that, uh, that thigh meat. Y'all watch that brown. I gotta wash my hands. And, uh, That's sizzling up good right there. You notice I uh, I didn't season that because uh, this is because we can go ahead and let that brown up. All right, we've got our vegetables chopped. We've got our onions, bell peppers, a jalapeno. That chicken's browning up nice right there. In a few more minutes, we'll uh, take that off and put it to the side and let it cool. And then we're going to throw in our vegetables. I've also got over here a big, huge pot of great northern beans that I cooked overnight. Oh, that was just about a disaster. Look at that. That's just pretty. I've just turned them bad boys off. So, that's going in the chili. That basically makes up the body of the chili. All right, our, uh, our chicken is done. I'll deglaze a little bit. I'll add some more olive oil to that pot. We're going to dump in the onions. Let that saute around a little bit. Turn my heat back up to medium. And yo, look at that mess I just made on that stove. Yeah, no. Gotta clean that up now. Yo. That's not good. Greasy stove. All right, let's uh, let's get into that pot. We got that. Let that chicken bread, boy. Don't that burn it? Stir that around. We'll let that brown up a little bit. Bit, we're gonna be back. As you can see, uh, the onions are browning up nicely there. Right now, we're going to go ahead and add our bell pepper. Dump all that in there. And our jalapeno. Dump that in there. Go ahead and let all that brown up. Give that a good stir around. That's going to cook down real good. All right, we'll be back. All right, our vegetables are still browning down good over there. Uh, I've got the chicken on the board, and we're going to go ahead and cut that up. Uh, let me aim that down like that. It's hard being cameraman and star all at one time. We're just going to cut that chicken up into chunks. Oh, it could have cooked a lot more. Well, now. I'll be right back. I can fix this. 
All right, now that's what I'm talking about. And vegetables are cooked down pretty good now. I'm going to add a spoon of garlic. Had to brown that meat some more. And just a minute, as soon as it cools down, we'll get back to cutting that up. And now that I've got that in there, at this stage, I'm going to start adding a little bit of seasoning. We're going to add some uh, chipotle, roasted garlic, a little bit of thyme leaves, just because. If I can get it open, we're going to add some oregano. A bit of uh, oregano there. Too much. About like that. You got a little stir around, get it all incorporated. What else we got in the cabinet that we can make magic with? We got a little bit of this crushed up red pepper. We're gonna we're gonna put a little bit of that in there. But comme ça. I probably should have moved the spoon before I done that, huh? Uh, Alright. And of course, since it's chili, not that the original recipe calls for it, but <clears throat> gonna put some paprika. I don't have the uh the smoked, all I have is the Spanish style. And I'm thinking about that much. Look at that. I put about half of that on the stove. And of course, it's not chili without the cumin. But like that. Oh, now that smells like chili. Turn that fire down on that. I don't want to burn that stuff. I just want to. Oh man, if you could smell me now. I have to work that a little bit. I think I might have to add some liquid here. I got some chicken stock, broth, whatever you want to call it. There's two cups. I'm not going to put all that at one time. I put right approximately half a cup right there. Now look how pretty that is. Now that's looking nice. Of course, this is a white chili, not a red, so uh, we're going to come back over here, and we're going to chop that chicken up. Whoa, now, my camera decided to take a tumble. Okay, we'll move all that junk out of the way, and let's see if our knife can cut. Want some nice little chunks. Cut the 
those in half. Alright, you get the idea. We'll, uh, I'll finish that off camera and get back at you. Alright, that chicken's all chopped up. We're going to take that and we're going to add it to this little mixture right here. That's looking good, that. Give me a second. Alright. that in there like that. Got all that chickeny goodness in there. Stir that around a bit. Coat that chicken up really nice like that. See that? Oh man, that's pretty. Yeah. At least I hope it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Okay, we're going, we got about a cup and a half of stock. We'll go ahead and add that in there. I probably could have used a little bit more. But. Bring that up to like a boil. That means I got to turn that fire up some. And we'll be right back. Look at that. So pretty. I cooked these overnight. There's some great northern dried white beans. Now the recipe calls for two cans of beans. But since we cooked our own, which I think will be a lot better, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put about four cups. And then we'll see how that does. Oh man, look at that. Oh Man, I could eat that just like that over cornbread. I seasoned it up with some... Uh, Perfect pinch uh, seasoning, garlic, and herb, no salt. I added uh, eight cups of, well, two and a half cups of stock and eight cups of, uh, and a total of eight cups of water for, the, for those beans. Now we're going to go back to the stove and we're going to dump those in there. We got that uh, pot bubbling up merrily there. I'm going to go ahead and add four cups of beans to that and see what that's going to do. Alrighty, they're in there. Kick that flame back down so we just simmer that. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That is going to make it, bub. <laughs> Look at that. If that's not pretty. We almost there. Almost there. We're going to let that cook down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and dump the grease from the chicken. I'm going to go ahead and put that lid back on there for a little while. And we'll be back. There we go. I got a few more ingredients to add. I just gave that a little test, taste test off screen. And oh my God. All right. Next. We're going to add a little splash of lime, just a few little drops. And my favorite, Cholula, chili lime hot sauce. It's not real hot, but it does have excellent flavor. And I don't have much left in this bottle, so we're just going to go ahead and use the whole damn thing. There we go. Mix that around a little bit. It tastes the cumin just right. I don't have too much. I'm not going to add more. Uh, we've got left to add in here is sour cream and heavy whipping cream. I want to say a cup of one and half a cup of the other. But this has got to cook a little bit more. We're going to stir pretty frequently because uh, we don't want to burn them beans on the bottom. So we'll be back in a bit. All right, we're back. We're going to lift the lid off that pot. See what we got. I hope I didn't let them stick too much. 
No. Close though, close. Ooh. It's now time to add in our last ingredients. We're gonna go ahead and kill the fire on that. And uh we're gonna go ahead. Alright, now we're gonna add in the dairy. We've got a cup of sour cream. Dump that in there. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. And we've also got half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Dump that in there. And let's just incorporate, shall we? Look how pretty that is, and if you could just smell this. I may have put just a little too much stock. It should be just, you know. But this actually, even though they call it a chili, it's closer to a chowder. Or really thick soup. Nonetheless, it's hearty and good. Now, all we've got left to do with that is to go ahead and put that in a bowl. Be back. And there you have it. A bowl of white chicken chili.